Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Fallout 76, where we are back at it again after missing an episode due to me being ill on Tuesday and Wednesday and thus unable to record. But we're uh, back in fighting form and uh, of course most likely fighting a lot of Scorch today as we are still here at Garum, a mining company, doing the Chasing Shadows mission to get ourselves some hallucinogen gas for um this i guess phantom device thingy we're trying to make for the novices of mystery so let's just jump right on into things and up oh, there's stairs over there so we can just head right up this way and let's try and beeline into the there was a door here oh it's a parking garage oh, hi how are you i need uh, you're you're oh there's a turret okay you know what? I'm gonna let the turret just... Why isn't the turret killing him? I don't know. He's dead now. You know what? I'm not gonna bother with them. I'm just gonna go and do my thing over here. We need to head in the building, so that's what I'm gonna do. To heck with all you, Scorched! Oh, God! Mines! Jump! Well, jumping didn't help me. There's mines here, too. <laughs> okay! Well, there we go. Let's reload. Stand up on the desk here to... Look around for other potential mines. I don't see any. That's good. Okay, okay. Uh, nothing to... Oh, there's a terminal. Hello, terminal. Do you have anything fun and important? No. Just reception terminal. Okay. Uh, really? You're gonna come down here? Okay, okay. Now you're dead. You could have lived if you would have stayed up there, but no, no. All right, this way I go. Into the mining atrium. Ooh. Who doesn't like a good atrium? Okay, I'm hoping this hallucinogen gas isn't too far to, you know, to go to get it. As I would like to start working on another piece, because we already have the stealth boy that I need for the mission. There's a lot of shooting going on. Hmm. All right, where am I actually heading here? Okay, that's the way out. We need to go that way. Hey, not far. 30, 30 something. There we go. All right, excellent. Let's just head in here. And here. Hello. Yup, you're not dead yet. There we go. Yeah, no one else. At least so far. Civic Center Booth Key. Estate Access Key Card. Oh. Oh, is that to the... Hold on a moment. Map. Oh, hey! That was that key we were looking for, for that door. Really? Those people in that note who were trying to get open the door didn't realize to just go, like, ten feet over here? Awesome. Alright, let's search. I'll take all of you. All right, where's this hallucinogen gas? Not in the bathroom. Ah, in it. Uh. Find a way to unlock the safe. All right, then let's. Okay, okay, a terminal, terminal, terminal. Oh god, it's a level zero to hack, but that's me and hacking. Okay, entry. Darren, which. Refer for cents. Stoke table doors. Knock. I'm gonna try knock here. Nope. So it's not gonna be stock. Hmm. Turns. No. Ooh, no. All right, let's look for the things. Okay, okay, hold on. A lot of shooting going on with those turrets. But of course, none of them were helpful to me. Oh, there's a thing. Tries reset, perfect. So knock, entry, the ones I tried. All right, the hell, let's look for more things. Dead removed. I don't remember which one it was, but it was there. Uh, no. 
alien. Hmm. Let's see. Let's try. What the hell, Heinz? Nope. Scale? No. <laughs> We're not gonna get another dud removal, are we? No, not seeing any. Which means out. Oh, it's probably not gonna help trying to do this now that I'm still on medication. So much medication. <laughs> it's the only way I'm even halfway able to record today. Oh, so, so much medication. Uh, that's how I deal with my illnesses. I mean, everyone takes medication, of course, but... Eh. Alright, seven sadly sorts. A lot of S ones. Let's just go for one of those so we can take out all those S's. Rock one, two. Let's try under. No. Which means it's not going to be that eager one either. Or ruler. Wow. I'm really unsure about the words that we're finding now. The only... Hmm. As we eliminated all the ones with S's at the start, and there's a lot of those. Under eliminates the ones with ER at the end. Oh, we had vital and spill as well. It could be one of those. All right, let's look for a, a reset. Oh, please be a reset. No, it was a dud removed. Oh, I like the reset, not the dud remove, because that doesn't... Eh, dud removal I've never seen as a useful thing. Ah, oh, and another one of those. Because it may remove a dud that I can that I've already, you know, eliminated through the likeness rules. Ah, oh boy. And I am not fine. Oh, oh, oh! Aha! Vital. Yes. <laughs> oh, process of elimination works. Oh uh, well, now I have to read the diary entries. Person diary one. Got an interesting package from Hallucigen Incorporated today. Seems they've caught wind of the mining protest around here and decided to help by sending me a sample of their hallucinogen gas and an estimate for a full order if I wanted to buy. Never mind the fact that I'd like to resolve these protests peacefully, apparently they'd rather I gas the miners and call it a day. As soon as I get a chance, I'll be sending a message back to the company telling them where they can stick this canister. Ah. Alright, Graham. Alright, let's see. Entry 2. It's been a week since I issued the Man vs. Machine challenge to Daniel Hornwright, and most of the company seems to think it was a mistake. My son Bryce is behind me. He's always stuck by my side. But my eldest Bill thinks I'm crazy. He'd never dare say that to my face, but I hear the rumors and the water cooler talk. The team down in R&D have done a hell of a job with the excavator power armor, but at the end of the day, they've warned me we're still depending on the human element to drive the units. They say a human makes mistakes, but I say a robot malfunctions. Normally, that would level the playing field with one important distinction. A robot doesn't care. It has no drive, no will to win. It only does what it's told and not an iota more. That's why we're going to win this contest, and that's why we're going to end up on top. Huh. Graham doesn't sound like too bad of a guy. All right, next one. Today is the day. Man vs. Machine is about to begin. I couldn't sleep a wink last night, but at least my husband, Brighton, was home to keep my spirits up. Poor Harold. I called him maybe every hour on the hour at the lab to make sure every screw was tightened and every axle was greased. He assures me the excavator power armor is ready, and we've got the best men lining up to run it. But I still can't get this knot out of my stomach. I've sunk almost everything Garam has into this project. If we lose, I honestly don't know how we'll functionally recover. I wonder how well Daniel Hornwright slept. Number four. Someone's shooting at me now, isn't there? 
It's funny how a minute difference in numbers can completely shatter your world. Why did we lose? How could we have been so unlucky? Hornwright's damn auto miner performed flawlessly. Not a single failure, not a single stall. And our men, I'm so proud of them, they worked until they could barely stand. Had they not been in the powered suits, I'm certain they would have fallen over with exhaustion. There, they tried, but it just wasn't enough. And now I must decide what to do. Do I close the doors? Do I pack up and move the operation to the Adirondacks? I have a lot to think, a lot of thinking to do. There's the phone. I'm guessing it's Daniel. Time to fall on my sword. And number five. Someone once said the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is now. I'm sure whoever came up with that quote never ran a mining company, but their words ring true. I can't give up. I can't throw away everything I work so hard to achieve. Gar mining will push through this dark time and will rise again. I'm in an effort to increase mining output. I'm seriously considering Daniel's offer to lease some of their auto miner units, but I'm not certain if it's the right thing to do. I must weigh our financial responsibilities against the welfare of my employees. I've also started to think it's time that I step down. The excavator power armor program has been scrapped. Millions of dollars have gone to waste, and there's no one to blame but myself. I just have to decide if I'm ready to hand over the reins to Bryce, or if he is ready to accept them. Oh. Okay, save control. Disengage. Alright. Well, that was sad. Alright, well. Gas. Definitely taking the shotgun shells. And to the rest. And to the rest. Alright, let's roll. Let's get out of here. Okay. So back to the manor. Make this weird stealth thingy. And then look for the clues for the next things that we need to get. Hopefully they won't be too bad to get and we'll be have plenty of time to get them. I don't know though. I don't know. I don't know why I say plenty of time to get them. It's not like we have a time limit on any of these things. I think what I meant was that it doesn't. T it's not too far to get to them. That's a much better thing, I think, in my brain. Ha! Uh, again, medicated. <laughs> uh, all right. So, oh God, more mines! Every time. Really, that one didn't go off before, though. I would have thought it would. All right, let's just hold on a moment. Hmm, that on the compass, a vault. All right, I want to get that. We haven't seen another vault yet, so I want to just go grab that waypoint over the edge. I mean, I guess the closest thing we got to another vault was the Vault Tech University, but I mean, eh, that doesn't really count. I kind of want to go into the. The estate there. Well, we'll do that another day. We are already on a mission chasing shadows. We must chase them. Let's just get this vault first, then we'll continue to chase the shadows. What are these mushrooms? They're obviously something we can pick. Blight! Okay. It doesn't seem like a mushroom I should pick. <laughs> With a name like Blight. Alright! This way we go. Hmm. What's up there? I don't know. Ooh! Alright! Screw you! Liberators normally don't do much damage when there's several of them! Okay, hold on, I have to reload. One more. Hold hold a moment. Thank you for thank you for standing still. Thank you. Alright. Yeah, volley fire from four of them at once. That that actually can do some damage. Oh, I didn't mean to, t mean to take that steel. All right, all right. Where's the vault? Ooh, God. That was a bit of a jump I didn't need to make. Hmm. Is it in here? No. Is it up here? Ooh. Wait, hold on a moment. I need to go back down. That was a very sudden change in the 
color of the world, and I was wondering if it was a location-based thing, but no, I think time just abruptly changed and made the world change color a bit more. <laughs> oh. 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 Okay. Is it... How do I... How do I get here? Alright, I'm guessing I do have to go down here. Oop. Is it in the building now? Ha. Ah. I don't know. I may give up. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Oop, there we go. Here's a door. Here's a door. Perfect. I should have gone in. Oh, I didn't mean to actually go inside. Uh, Okay, well, I'm in here now. Hi, Vault! How are you? Anything fun here? I mean, while I'm here. I mean, Vault access controls. Let's take a look. Door control. Nope. I don't have an ID card. Hmm. Well, we found Vault 63. All right, I don't care. Let's roll. <laughs> and back to Appalachia. And to the long load times that usually accompany it. Ha. <sighs> Maybe I should take some pictures in the world so we don't keep seeing this ID from the very start of the game. I mean, every time I see it, I wonder, why does it still say level one? Then I remember, oh yeah, it's my vault tech ID from the start. Okay, so let's just go ahead and fast travel back. Oh god, Fisher Sight. Oh, there's a lot of people there. Ugh. We have no choice. We have to go. At least hopefully they've cleared out the scorched. <laughs> uh, I just need to go use the fabricator. Then we'll be good. And more loading screens. Well, while it's loading, I'm going to take a sip of my drink. Always important to stay hydrated when sick. Uh, oh, 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 I think we're loading. All right, there we go. Okay, and... Oh, God, the mole rats are going to come up, aren't they? I see you! How are you not dead? Screw him! down <laughs> oh god I hate mole rats so much so very much oh well we're inside let's reload I said reload all right let's get to the thing put away my gun oh come on open dude <laughs> it did magically and suddenly I think it forgot to animate. Oh, I hear Scorched. How are you in here? Alright, I need my thing. Let us fabricate... The... Phantom Device. Beautiful. We have done it. Okay. We've completed Chasing Shadows! What is this thing? Is it, uh, is it an apparel item? Warm again. Nope. So, eight items? Uh, a phantom device! Frenzies and nearby creatures and renders you almost completely invisible. It's a one-use item. I will never use it. <laughs> oh, hey, we got some stuff. Woo. Sounded like there may have been a scorched up here. Nope. Where the hell are they walking around? I hear them everywhere. I don't know. Do the computer. All right. Let's look at the next bit. Me, mission board. 
Blade of Bastet. All right. Review instructions. And over to Hall of Notes. Blade of Bastet. In combat, the Mistress of Mystery relied upon her speed, agility, and training in the martial arts, uh -huh. including the art of the sword. I mean, who doesn't love a good For sword? For many years, her favorite weapon was the Blade of Bastet. A legendary sword passed down from hero to hero across the ages. Cool, cool. The time has come for you to earn your own blade. Awesome, I like First, it, I like it. You'll need to locate a sword with historic significance. That symbolism matters. You'll treat it with respect. Cryptos should have some leads. Okay. Then you'll need to pick up one of Frederick's swing analyzers and attach it to your sword. The analyzer will collect data on your stance and swing as you wield it against different foes. Once the analyzer has finished its work, Frederick should be able to hone your sword into a blade worthy of the Mistress of Mystery. All right. Search for a sword of historic significance. Uh, database queries. Historic swords. All right, searching database. Dun, blah, blah. Please acquire the sword. Oh wait, hold on. The White Spring Presidential Cottage. We'll find it there. All right, cool. And go get the swing thingy. Ooh, ooh, come on, why can't I jump over this railing? There we go. Mm -hmm. Uh, fabrication services, I assume. A swing analyzer. Cool. All right, we got the thing. Let's roll. Have I picked up anything that needs scrapping? Nope. Haven't done any picking up since last episode. Right. This way. Back to the elevators. And... Up we go. Oh, God. The mole rats are going to be still be there. I should have killed them. <laughs> uh, I really hate mole rats. They're just so annoying. Just pop out of the ground wherever they damn well please, even if it's a rooftop, which I still don't understand. <laughs> oh, video games. Alright, well, so we have to go to the White... Oh god, what was it? White Springs Presidential Cottage, was it? I, I don't quite remember the name now. But cool, so we'll find a good historic sword there. And hopefully, that won't be too bad. Okay. <gasps> Where's your friend? There's your friend! God, I hate them. Sounds like there's another. Who? Where are you, you mole ratty bastard? You are stuck underground, it looks like. Well, where am I going? Oh, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Let's take... No, might as well eat this for right now. My Yeah, it already did wear off the last one I had. And then some more rat chunks. Are these cooked? I think they're cooked. Well, if not... Oh, well. <laughs> Alright, where am I going? Yeah, it's not too far. Oh, that's where we died miserably. Hmm. Well, let's hope we don't die miserably this time. Could have made it too if I wouldn't have gotten stuck in that corner. Oh well, oh well. Let's try and hopefully not get slaughtered by ghouls that are way above our level. And... Head... Away from this. Ooh, green. <laughs> I had to stop for a second there. I was like, wow! That I wasn't expecting coming from just over the hill. Oh, uh, golf course. How in the hell is this golf course still green? Who's been watering it? 
<laughs> I don't know. Search! And nothing, but I'll take the boiled dog- uh, the boiled water. I'm about to say boiled dog food. Nope. Can I- oh my god, we can't pick up the golf balls, and it has something I need! I'm gonna assume plastic? Oh, hello, golf balls. Cool. Golf tea apparently doesn't have anything I need. Alright, so, we are... Going up there. Alright. Okay, down I go. Oh, this was a mistake! Okay, we didn't die. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. We're alright. We're safe. Oh, what quest that I don't care about. What the hell's attacking me? I don't know. It spit something. Ooh! Ooh! Stalking Mothman! Nip! Nip, nip, nip! Nip, nip! Well, apparently... Yes, yes, yes! Where the hell? Well, I'm gonna go with nope, nope, nope. He's a good ten levels above me. I don't feel like fighting him. We're running away. Yay, White, White Spring Golf Club. Woo! Still don't care about your quest here, miscellaneous things. Let's move away. Oh god, which is actually my quest waypoint now that it's added on these stupid other things? Someone had a rocket launcher in there. Seriously, which which is mine? There. Okay. Oh god, the thing is back! The thing is back! I don't care to screw with you! I'm just trying to get a sword to complete a mission. Why must you attack me? Oh, look, ghouls. Ooh, 62! I've come to the wrong neighborhood. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm, uh, pretty sure I'm dead. All I want is a sword! All I want is a sword! Oh, you're level 9. You guys are, you guys are cool. I can kill you. You though, holy crap! Oh, jump! Jump, you damn fool! I'm stuck, I'm stuck in a shrub. Oh, we're good. Apparently I've been mutated by something. Okay, well that's a feral ghoul I can actually take. Uh, oh, missed him completely. Oh my god, why do I keep missing? And why are you wearing glasses? Okay, hold on, hold on. You're 42? Oh, you're good. I shocked things. Oh, that must be that mutation I just got. I'm about to die. Holy mother of crap. Look at all the ghouls. Yep, I came to the wrong neighborhood. Way wrong neighborhood. Well, I'm about to die. Because I don't have the cover I need to uh, jump in and take a rat away. I need to run like balls. Whoever's over there is having a real fun time with some rockets. Take this! Ha! Ah, the wolf is helping! <laughs> There's a lot of high-level ghouls back there. I'm about to die. Screw it! I choose my own way of death! Whee! <laughs> oh, hey, I was, forgot I was wearing that dress. <laughs> Well, well, I give up. <laughs> At least I chose my own way out. Oh boy, that was bad. I'm gonna go get my stuff. <laughs> oh my god, and again, the, this game with just ramping it up where it tells me to go, where it's, ah, uh, son of a bitch, I see them in front of me running away. <sighs> all right, all right. Well, we may, I mean, hmm. How in the crap am I gonna get that sword without just getting attacked by, oh my god, I hear them already, they came for me, you're actually not bad. Oh, yeah, I'm still- I forgot I still have all that damage. I have red worms now. Yep. He's dead. 
Oh, what the? Who's? Oh, was it something? Oh, the, the red worms. I need to take that cure disease, don't I? Oh, boy. You know what? I'm just going to get my stuff, and then I'm going to end the episode. I'll I'll cure my radiation later. <laughs> We're at the 30-minute mark. I need to... I need to just... I need to go lie down. <laughs> I just need to get my bag of crap. All right. Oh. And here's there it is there it wow I really didn't have much did I all right well that is gonna be it for this episode folks I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next episode when I don't freaking know but until then thank you for watching oh god and as always have a good one what the hell